Hi everybody, I'm Jim Skelly and this is the Global Conversation. It's the ninth of our many lectures for the spring semester in 2012. Um, I've just returned from uh, the Easter holidays as have the students from the University of Ulster so if there has been some lack of uh, intensity on the website uh, it's probably related to that. I'm sure that many of you have had a holiday um, over this period of time. Uh, we have a very long one, however. We have a full two-week holiday. Although for us it was not fully holiday, a number of us, a number of us were at um, the uh, International Student Conference that BCA Study Abroad sponsors uh, at uh, the University of Strasbourg in accordance with our program um, in Strasbourg. Uh, this year, uh, as with last year, we focused on environmental issues, had an absolutely spectacular conference. I, it's the ninth year we've done these, and I have to say that it was uh, arguably the best we've ever had. Um, the keynote speaker, Polly Higgins, was fantastic, as was Julia Martin Lefebvre of the International Union for Conservation of Nature, uh, and Professor David Coombs of... Um, of the University of Limerick. There were also other speakers from the University of Strasbourg, uh, Carl Gibran and Anthony Triolo from the Institute for American Universities, um, uh, Melanie Meunier from the, uh, from the University of Strasbourg. And then of course all of the students from AJ as well as American students, there were about 50 students in total in attendance, um, and the AJ students, uh, under the direction of Gizem Karsley and uh, the president of AJ, uh, Alfredo Saletti, um, uh, really led the second half of the conference, made it uh, really much more dialogic than uh, we old academics can do. But it was quite, uh, quite an extraordinary conference. I wanted to reference it because there's a couple of websites that you should take a look at, including the one that Polly Higgins and her colleagues have set up called Eradicating Ecocide. And uh, I, I think one of, the, um, one of the things you want to look at is the concept paper, and I'm going to send you a link to that, the concept paper that um, essentially fleshes out um, what the law of ecocide would look like. Uh, what I think is very interesting is this would be the fifth crime against international peace if it is institutionalized um, and it would mean that those who violate this law uh, one good example uh, might be um, the tar sands, those behind the tar sands uh, extraction process in Alberta in uh, Canada uh, they would be it, they would be facing prosecution at the International Criminal Court in The Hague. Um, so I think it's going to have a... Um, if we can get this law passed, uh, I suspect that it's going to make a lot of people pause um, before they engage in certain kinds of activities that have been the norm in the past. At any rate, I'm going to link you to that and as well to, uh, to some other uh, uh, talk by Polly Higgins. We had tried to um, we had hoped to, uh, to get uh, her talk at the conference uh, recorded, but unfortunately, technology did not help us this time. The other person who was there that I mentioned, uh, who's a leading figure in the environmental movement globally, was Julia Martin Lefebvre, who is the Director General of the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Uh, and many of the things that she talked about, I think uh, some of you would be very, very interested in. Um, uh, and there was a lot of synergy between what she was talking about and what Polly Higgins was talking about. So I'm hoping that you'll get a chance to take a look at that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the other thing I think uh, you want to take a look at this week, uh, I know you're all working furiously to get your learning circle projects done. I know some people are close to doing that. We've, we've asked you to complete them by this Friday, uh, and part of the reason for that is that it coincides with Earth Day. 
This is the day when uh, we celebrate uh, the fact that we're connected to this planet in the most fundamental ways. It's our life support system. I'm going to send you some information about Earth Day and you can find out if there are um, any events um, celebrating Earth Day uh, near where you live. So I hope you'll take a look at that as well. There are a couple of other things I wanted to bring to your attention. Um, one is a video that um, uh, uh, is very, there's some very interesting science coming out of the University of California in San Francisco. And it's about obesity and sugar. Uh, we watched part of this material today uh, in the class here at the University of Ulster and I have to say to you, uh, although I think I'm fairly knowledgeable about some of these issues, some of them had slipped by me. Um, I thought that the issue in food was fat, as uh, most of the nutritionists suggest, but there's increasing evidence that the real problem is sugar. So I'm going to link you to a couple of videos, some of which are just coming on air now. Uh, one has already been on air and there will be another one on this week. But I really do hope you take a look at that because what I've come to realize is that, you know, you, um, we don't always know what's affecting us. And this is a really big one. I hadn't realized how significant it is. We're going to do more with it next year in the course, uh, and I hope you'll you'll certainly take a look at it. Um, do I do hope you're able to finish up with the Learning Circle projects this week. I know that some of you have had difficulty in terms of people working on these, and the holidays, of course, haven't helped. But do please try to get them in. Um, I know that some people are ending their semesters this week as well. Um, soon the people at the Byrne College of Art um, will also be, uh, be uh, finishing up, as will um, people at the Universidad Veracruzana in Mexico. So um, before you all go away for the summer, um, please do uh, send us your latest in this regard, okay? Oh! I almost forgot to tell you that uh, we posted the um, final essay assignment at the top of the course webpage. So please take a look on at that, uh, click on it. If you're taking the course for credit, you should be uh, completing that. There are different dates for different students. Um, in the end, uh, check with uh, your respective professor. Um, I think that'll be uh, pretty helpful. At any rate, um, take care of yourselves and see you soon.